you know, if we can do that successfully, we get it. Uh, we get another mulligan. Game back. three. So PMA, Trent. I think Mental that's the name of mulligans. the game. I'm going to tell that to my teammates the next time I'm playing Dota. Guys, yeah. <laughs> I know it's 20 to 5. Yeah, we just need a mental mulligan right here. Everything's yep. even again. Yep. All now, right, Centaur, nice. I know you up. just missed everything, but next time I believe in you. That's the there kind of go. stuff you got to do. Bowie, are we going to see a Nyx get through again? I Ten think we will. And, you know, since we're talking about yeah, mulligan, team. they didn't really <laughs> mulligan their, uh, their bands here. What's your take on this? OD Puck first ban, uh, uh, Trent. Uh, what is the goal? Of doing I think OD the goal puck is bands. you you don't SG have... first phase the OD right that's you how they started this tournament they, they lost they did one yes. series and lost but then they first yeah. phased the puck yeah. right so I think it might be this idea of they really hate that they have two really strong heroes that flex in um, prominent roles of the off lane the mid and potentially support. Um, between the puck and the OD. So they are trying to push them in a different direction that maybe takes them out of their comfort zone. Maybe they've been scrimming them a lot and they basically always go towards those two heroes. And so they're just hoping that even though they think that they might be the stronger team, which they likely do, they want to push them into some different stuff to try and open up options and maybe see if they can trip them up. Uh, clearly didn't work last game, but if you came into this series hoping that was going to work, you don't really have a lot of time between game one and game two to adjust your plan. Well, so yeah, there is an interesting... Go ahead, they, boy. They, they don't get the beast. I guess SG also didn't pick it up, but they take the inch out. Latam has first pick, but they give up Radiant the Beastmaster for each doctor. Uh, I find that amusing. But, well, it's right, like if I, the take the, if I take the Beastmaster, they're going to take the Witch Doctor, or maybe like, even Oracle's really good versus Beastmaster, too, right? In a lot of ways, because you can actually like burst down the boars at a couple, once you're a couple levels in. So. Yeah, it's not. It's kind of like no one wants to pick the Beastmaster necessarily, unless it gets like later in the draft and it still looks really good. Yeah, I so guess. Here, but I, I do feel like the Beastmaster still like, even though there are answers for Beastmaster as there are answers for any hero, I still feel like the hero offers so much. You know, uh, it's not a flex hero though. So Mars, you, you do get that with uh, the ability to play him mid. So maybe that's what they're trying to aim for. I think SG is illustrating that they have a variety of drafting styles because Bowie and I interviewed Costa Bule after that uh, rough Ten series that they had uh, against Thunder Predator, and they opened OD both times in that series, Ten and they lost remaining. both games. And he said specifically, we had a strategy, it backfired, we didn't really get to execute it, we have some other strategies. So I, I fear Latam defenders might be overreacting to something that SG have already been like, hey, we tried that, it didn't work, we're moving into other strategies but still this OD is considered a threat. It's pretty value for them in a lot of ways if they had their eyes on something else all along, you know? Ten mm -hmm. seconds remaining. Oh, I like oh, how Latin yeah, defenders are banning uh, color-coordinated-wise, getting rid of the DP and the Tidehunter. Ah, <laughs> oh, the bat. Oh, they ruined it. All right, fair enough. Okay, well, no Oracle option, so they'll take out the bat in case uh, SG wanted it themselves. Alchemist ban. That's, uh, I've seen him okay. pop out a game or two. Hmm. Nyx is still in here too, so we have to keep an eye on that moving to the next phase. Because we, yeah. we this time we don't have our forest pick in the first phase, so we have uh, Earthshaker, Earth Spirit, and Nyx Assassin remaining, as well as the potential Marana combos. Does Kito also possible? That's true. And Monkey. I do like the Tusquito with uh, Witch Doctor Mars. Pretty aggressive support combo. You've got two forms of blockade with the arena and the shards. Pretty good. Yeah, I I really like it. You know, especially there versus... you go, Bowie. There you go. All right, they heard you. Dude, they heard you. They saw some I... of those tears. <laughs> they didn't pick the beast. <laughs> <laughs> but that's what I mean, right? You have the Witch Doctor and the Latin Defender side, and yet they're still picking the Beastmaster just because it, it's Ten such a good hero, you know. Remaining. I feel like this is already a super, a big advantage for SG. In terms I mean, I like of... it. I like it a lot. All right. So, like, all right. You, you see Rave King Beastmaster. I think we actually saw this core, uh, these two cores in the game in the first series. Uh, the answer was a Dark Seer to try and uh, get the aura, get the mm. Radiance. I guess Dark Seer, Terra Blade, they, they both offer that uh, that sort of ability. So, Do you guys? I don't think you can Dark Seer against Oracle. Yeah, that's my that's, first. That's probably why <laughs> they went for the Oracle here. Um, yeah, that's a no go. Uh, I see Monkey King still being up as well. Yeah, 
We probably it's have not to take good it in lane these versus two. beast though, right? The attack speed is low. Super annoying for for monkey. Yeah, I'm just thinking game wise though, with like the arena too. Yeah. Unfortunately, they don't have tenth pick. Team pick. Lena. So okay. they're gonna cover themselves with the Lena first off. So. I mean, that's probably going to be their mid, but of course, the flexibility will still be there. Mm -hmm. They want to get a little bit more information, so they just pick, knowing that um, SD are probably going to wait for the 10th pick from their mid anyway, they're just like, well, let's just take like a strong laner that doesn't get beat out. Let's get one more bit of information about their lanes, which, if your SD should just be the 4, uh, which yeah. won't even help them that much, but at least it'll give them a prime opportunity for their position 1 pick after this. I actually feel like there's a, a big incentive for Lina to be a four here because she outranges the boar. Uh, oh wait, no, no, I'm actually crazy. Lean is a four, so she's not gonna be in the Beastmaster lane. But usually, Lean is pretty good versus Beast uh, if you play her as a five because you outrange the boar and mm -hmm. you can can kill him. But probably not gonna be the case here. I don't think they're gonna run Witch as a four. So what is the four that you get here? Oh, okay. Back Keep it simple, again. stupid. Yeah. <laughs> So no Mars this time, but I mean we saw just the immense damage that this hero puts out. And so strange, we, you know, I mean Bowie, you kind of called it. We saw Willow ignored, uh, but a bit of a sleeper hero picked simultaneously for the first time in SA as it was being played by Team Secret in Europe um, just a few moments ago. So the yeah. merits of this hero cross regional, and we'll get to see it again. Big damage. I like this paired with Oracle too. You've got a great saving support that also has some damage mixed with Willow. Oh, you're picking up kills, baby. Yeah, it's so easy to time the Bramble into the uh, Fortune's End. So it's, yep. it's really good. I really don't want to play Troll here. Weaver. Okay, Weaver. That's good. Huh. Try to find There's... something that can uh, be like elusive and uh, try and farm in the lane. Man, they cannot get off to a bad start, though. Yeah. Yeah, I it's a, I like the Weaver versus Oracle. Uh, Weaver might be able to force the false promises on him. That's always going to be a good idea. But I feel like the Weaver Wraith King matchup is not ideal. You're like fourth picking your carry, and it's not even that good versus the enemy carry, which is probably one of the best carries in the patch. So I don't know. Feels like a decent lane hero, but doesn't feel like a win condition. They're gonna have to get yeah. a really good fifth pick, and they don't have last pick on top of it. It's not looking good. And if I'm SG, I'm still just banning mids here because, you know, might as well. I mean, what fours are really worth banning? They pair with Mars. Yeah, any... yeah, I, I agree. I, I mean, SG uh, also have last pick, so they don't need to worry too much. They can always counter pick. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, I guess they could ban, like, Visage or something if they really wanted to. Just because. I mean, are, you, are you afraid of the Visage? Given how it's looked <laughs> I mean, so far? If, the guys, if you know the guy plays it and there's, like, not that many... You know, crazy picks at the moment right now. They could also get rid of the monkey if they really wanted to, just in case. But I don't think that's really necessary. I just I feel like there's such a good spot that there's nothing, no band just like standing out. Okay, that's fair enough. That that's pretty good, right? Classic four mm -hmm. with the Myers. Yeah, and you have the other Thanks one is Derek Willow. Willow. So you've <laughs> you've stolen the other pairing that he gets. All right, guys. I know how Latin defenders wins this. You play Wither four. All right, so you have a save okay. for the Prime Aurora when you farm right. 5,000 gold with your eggs. Right, yeah. perfect. And Piece of cake. Yes. Easy. And then you last pick uh, Terror Blade, and you're going to get the reflection in Rave King and Beastmaster. That, that, that's how we win this. Piece of cake. Um, <laughs> I mean, yeah. that's that sounds crazy, but at the same time, Dying they need team. something a little crazy. Now the Morani gets banned out, so still banning around these fours. That's it. They they think the Weaver's not four. You, you debated them. Let's go, <laughs> Latham. <laughs> uh, I think they'll pick Earth Spirit. That's my bold prediction. Uh, it's pretty good versus the Oracle. Remaining. Yeah. It's, it's going to be something... The back line. Simple and basic. It's Lena mid. You don't have last pick, so she's the great generic cover. I know Cuckoo still Nicks, loves Weaver. I guess, but it, this yeah. draft has wound up being not an incredible Knicks game. It's like, okay. It's not great, though. Yeah. I mean, the mana drain is good versus Wraith King in the first 20 minutes, but that's about it. I guess, I mean, Nyx is really good versus Willow, actually. Yeah, the ground targeted spell is pretty nice when she tries to Shadow Realm and do her shenanigans, yeah. too. I, I think, you know, honestly, Nyx might be better than Nurse Spirit. 
Like if if you check wing rate and you and the radiance on the wraith king too. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, they get a Anyways, I feel like it's it's a big weakness when a team like has to ignore Nyx. Uh, I, I feel like SG, they're not that pressing to picking it because there's like one intelligence core on the side of Latin. But whenever I see a team, I don't know, it, it feels like a weakness to me. Uh, I might be wrong. But what's the last pick here? They need a mid hero against Lina. They could not Viper. They could Storm mm. too. They could. The laning stage is a little scary because of Lina Earth Spirit. Oh! The 40 Swag. Earth Spirit. All right. Fair enough. All right. I love well, Shadow Fiend. I wanted to see Shadow Fiend, but I, I feel like I always get scared because I know he doesn't have a high wing rate. And uh, it's. Yeah. But we've, we've got a little bit of a mismatch here. SG really dominated game one, so they're feeling confident. We know that it's a specialist hero on a player that really loves it. A lot of games yeah. on Shadow Fiend. And they have a pretty good supporting cast, right? You've got this Oracle and you have the Fear from the Willow. So multiple ways to save the Shadow Fiend. Kind of. You still got that Laguna, though, you got to worry about. Uh, I'm excited to see it. I, I'm still confident for SG, but this is a, a swaggy way to close this out if they can take the win. Valky yeah. has to pop off on the Mars. He, it's like so much is on him this game, in my opinion, of like his first mm -hmm. rotation to the level six and just trying to defend from these pushes from the Beastmaster. And uh, Kagahook can't afford to feed with the Ritz in their lane, too. Hopefully, they can get off to a little bit of a good start where like you get the level edge as Witch Doctor and then you have the Maledict advantage over them. And it feels like you can actually bully people. Maybe Moonlight will show up down there in the earlier end, too, to try and uh, open up some space for Kagahook. They need a lot of quick and succinct rotations from uh, Latam Defenders no, if they're no, going to no. be uh, out of the woods compared to Game 1. Yeah, yeah. I, I feel like they have a better draft overall. You see way more stuns, but yeah, you know, Wraith King Beastmaster, it's really hard to bet against those two heroes, especially with SG playing them. Yep. I, uh, you know, I think you took the words out of Gary's mouth there, Bowie. I could hear him saying it. The heroes that we trusted. What is the saying, Gary? Is it rideth or dieth? <laughs> sure is yes Iori. i mean they've got the wraith king they've got the Beastmaster. bat rider was sadly banned theban so no triple ride or die but the shadow fiend is going to be a real real sight here for adriano isn't it it's uh incredibly strong as uh theban sorts out his mic it should be good now okay my mic is my mic was muted. Sorry, guys. All right. What I said was uh, SG's draft is incredibly powerful, in my opinion. And I'm going to make a claim here. A bold claim? Mm, maybe. You a tell mild, me. Well, a mild claim? You, you, you let me know. I okay. think Weaver needs to be 5-0 and zero or greater by mm -hmm. 10 minutes. Or they lose this game. Yeah, that, 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 that's a claim I can get behind. Uh, I think that's somewhere between mild and bold. That's a pretty solid claim, I reckon, Theban. Okay. Yeah, that's what I think. I think I think this Weaver has to has to pop off or else there's no way. Like, SG's heroes, they got so much, so many auras. They got the Inner Beast and they got the Shadow Fiend's uh, Presence of the Dark Lord. This Wraith King is just going to AFK farm to his <laughs> Radiance BKB item timings and he's just going to destroy them. Then you also have to deal with this Oracle. As Latam defenders, you have to run past this Wraith King, Beastmaster, and Shadow Fiend to get to the Oracle. And it's going to be very dangerous for Weaver unless he's just like constantly killing heroes throughout the game and slowing down the timings of SG. Yeah, and when the mid game looks so tough as you describe it, you're even more reliant on those early game, as the panel said, rotations, Moonlight, na na na, going to have a lot on their plate, as will the Mars, to try and uh, defend up against the Beastmaster and really kick off those team fights with his Earth Spirit partner. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of work there. to be done. Got another pause here. Lag or whatever it may possibly be. Oh, there's also the factor of the Brazilian server. Yes. I wonder if that's good. That's why he feels so confident to play Shadow Fiend. He's like, hell yeah, I got yes. I got lower ping. <laughs> Don't have to play on 120 ping against you guys. I'm, I'm certain that was a factor in their, in their draft decision there. Like, oh, we're in Brazilian uh, server. Give me, give me SF. Yeah, man. It's so hard to play SF on ping. It's like definitely one of the hardest heroes. I, I wouldn't dare touch that. Nah, it's pretty hard. Ooh. I've, I'm a Lina. big fan of uh, 
Uh, it's another one of those heroes, you know, going back to the topic of conversation we had the other day, the mid laners kind of adapting and figuring out item builds and looking for the kind of counter to the lane counters. And this, this Shadow Fiend build with the Mango start raises level one. You know, it uh, definitely beats out that Necromastery starter build that we saw for years on end on Shadow Fiends. Now it's much more stable. You're able to get your bottle, able to get those stat items early. Shadow Fiend is yep. much more of a, a rounded mid lane hero just from that. You know, well, it's, it's, a bit of, it's a bit of technology, a bit of something that uh, knowledge passed down. Ba back in the day, Shadow Fiend had like 38 damage or something. <laughs> <laughs> this, these Shadow Fiends don't have a hard time anyway. You got at least 50. So, it's good enough. It you can actually get last hits. Play SF in back in the days. Yeah, exactly. Well, they start top with three heroes, SG again. Got a bit of damage onto Cucker Hook's Weaver, and they go for more. Bramble Maze being dodged. Nicely done by the Weaver to slip out of that Dark Griller disable. Mm -hmm. It's actually not a bad idea to start the three heroes top for SG first, because in case Latin defenders had three heroes top and try to destroy the Beastmaster early on, they would have been able to um, counter that play with their own three heroes and oh, give is... Beastmaster the good game he's looking for. This is sneaky. Oracle, pretending that he TP'd bottom lane, was hidden in the trees. Unfortunately, <laughs> Dark Willow couldn't really turn and play into it, and the Bramble Maze is on the Weaver. No Shikuchi for two more seconds. I can't push the damage they needed, but it's such an oppressive lane already for the Witch Doctor Weaver, and they're going to get oh, another man, the Fortune's damage. End. They, they have a salve on Witch Doctor, and he's going to have to use it here on the Weaver. Mm -hmm. And they got the wave in front of the tower as well. Now the Dark Willow, I mean, she's chill, and the Oracle TB bottom. The Wraith King was not even punished for the fact that the Oracle was top lane for a minute and 20 seconds. He's got six assets and has not lost a lot of resources at all. Yeah, well, he's used like a couple of tangos, doing perfectly fine. Stuns up the Earth Spirit to secure his CS. And they lose the courier as well. KJ snipes it. That's, that's great for Costa Bill in that bot lane. And how's mid going? Shadowfiend 9 and 1, Lena 6 and 1. Oh, that's worrying for Lena, that's for sure. Already 9 souls on the SF. As soon as he's level 4 on the SF, this Lina's not going to be able to last it. Creeps, or at least den or deny creeps, I mean. Yeah, and then you're fully focused on that wave shove with the Dragon Slave. Bottom lane, they do get a good spear, but the stuns have already been thrown by Costa Beal and KJ onto Valky. Moonlight going one for one, toe to toe with the Wraith King, realizing he's got to retreat because his Mars is salving. And what's the regen looking like now for Wraith King? A shared tango, the fairy fire popped as that spear comes. KJ still level one. Where's the Oracle Salve, man? It's in his quick buy. <laughs> oh, KJ. Oh, dear. No, KJ. That's not you okay, Jay. You done goofed, boy. Now his Wraith King's being dived. KJ's being chased by the Mars. A spear is ready. He needs, what, another couple of hits, one more than spear, but he can't reach him. While Earth Spirit, looping around behind a bottom tier one yet again. Getting up in the face of the Wraith King. Not comfortable whatsoever for SG down here. And another kick into a well, into a, into a nothing. And his first blood actually up top. Theo secures it on Aretas in a one versus two. And then goes for the denial against neutrals. Beautiful job. KJ is slain by Moonlight, though. And you know who's getting all the space for that, Gary? Mr. Wraith King. No, the Beastmaster. Oh, right. Yeah, so I was like, Come yeah, on, the no. Oracle fed so the Wraith can confirm. And you, you, are, you are more correct. <laughs> King Al with all the space. About, talking about the Dark Willow killing off the Wish Doctor and suicide to neutrals while the Weaver chases him. Look at his assets. He's at the top again. And the Weaver's 22? only got 10. Jeez, oh, du no. he's doubling up. Yeah, I mean, Weaver's got six minutes to get five kills, though. So we'll see. <laughs> Uh, the deadpan delivery of that was uh, was spot on. Yeah, we'll we'll see. Double damage rune for the Shadow Fiend, guarded up by Theo, and they roll towards him. Moonlight gets the kick. Light Striker Ray's ready, but Adriano has already made himself scarce. Oh, gets boy, back with a double raises. <laughs> Earth Spirit. I mean, sometimes you know you don't play against Shadow Fiend for a few months, and <laughs> you get punished. You know what's the worst thing about Shadow Fiends? Like when you go on him, if you don't kill him, if you ever decide to turn around and run, <laughs> you're dead. It's like one of those horror movies, you know? 
you, you can't. You, if you're chasing someone, you gotta commit to it. You gotta die committing to it. <laughs> Pretend that you're the most powerful one, even if they turn and try and fight you. Yeah, because that triple raise is just gonna come knocking you down. It just line it up for the shadow fiend. Yeah, especially playing up into fog. Like when he gets when he gets up a staircase, you know there's gonna be raises all requiem, and it'll be hell to pay. Mars running pretty low on mana down in the bot lane. He's queued up a bottle there, it looks like. Trying to try and keep himself in the laning stage. Wraith King not uh, not struggling whatsoever. 27-3. And it's another game where SG just has a firm grasp on every single one of their lanes. Mm-hmm. And you I mean their draft is just great, man. Yep. Do you do you have different parameters for what you consider pressure in in a lane stage? Like when you look at you know last hits, regen levels, everything considered as Oracle gets blown up. I think like, the best pressure in the lane is just denying creeps. Mm -hmm. Like you just deny creeps, you make sure the enemy can't get creeps, and then that naturally makes them play poorly because they need to constantly put themselves out of position to secure creeps, and then you punish them for that. I don't like the whole, like, everybody's, like, diving past creeps to harass heroes and shit, and then, <laughs> then they, they just heal up, they come back, they last at all the creeps, they get all the XP anyway. It's useless. It's really, really useless. Oh, those brambles top nearly caught the Weaver. Yeah, that, that, oh, Valky, this Oracle, he hits level 3, those two points in Purifying Flames, doubling up the damage from 90 to 180. Mm -hmm. And Massive the Wraith is so happy now, he's level 6. He can skill up his ulti anytime. He's got that magic stick. He's pretty much unkillable. Lina smoking. Sm Where's she smoking? She smoked back to back to fountain. Looks like it's about to wear off. She TP's top. Weaver being destroyed. The Necromorph? Mm -hmm. Necro level, level one. <laughs> Laguna blade Necro into the dark one, willow. Six minutes. <laughs> Theo's Necro out of there. The one, dragon slave's minutes. not enough. Yes, he's got a necro book. Six minutes into the game, and now Shadow Fiend's arrived. Long range raise, Bramble Maze, in we go with a mid range, the close range, triple raise, double kill. It's easy so for Adriano. Beautiful, really. Really, just a phenomenal setup there from King Owl's six minute necro book. And reincarnation from the Wraith King as well, bottom. Gonna save him, and he's just gonna get out of the bottom lane now. He's like, alright, my job here is done. You guys overextended for this kill, and you let everybody top die. ADR is just going ham right now, man. He's feeling himself. Wins the lane, gets the kill on the air spirit with try to go on him, goes top, gets a double kill, now pressuring up this Weaver who's only level five. And now dying. already died. Yeah, okay. Uh, ADR, alright, what, whatever, ADR. <laughs> <laughs> what you doing, buddy? Oh, if he dodges and wrecks maybe? Maybe he gets some stuff done? Raises? Yeah, I tried. Malik's gonna take him down though. I okay, that was a little bit much, diving behind the tier 1 tower 7 minutes into the game. <laughs> I, 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 can't, I can't save you from that one, dude. <laughs> That's all your fault, you know, you're bigging him up, saying he's feeling himself, he's looking good, he wins the lane, comes out with kills. He's listening. He, he, he was like feeling like Shadow Fiend in real life, you know, Shadow Fiend got that swagger walk. Inflated you know? ego. Yeah, with that big chest pump and like, oh yeah. <laughs> That's exactly what he was oh, doing. Oh, the roar. Onto the Weaver with everyone around him. <laughs> oh my god. Say the line, Theban. Oh, I got Necrobook, guys. Necrobook and Primal Roar get a kill. That's the one. Oh, Witch Doctor self-salving. Well, I don't know where he's even going to go. Going to get caught out by the Oracle here, it looks like. Fortune's End with the Purifying Flames down to half HP. Theo with a couple of hits. They've got vision here. Perfect vision. <laughs> Observe a ward behind it. Level 5. So much damage from the Oracle right now. <laughs> and the tower is dead. Oh, hey guys, I'm Beastmaster. I could take tower so easily. Uh, he's gonna have Necro too soon. And yeah, the Wii was gonna the... break his own record from game 1, I think. <laughs> so fast. Moonlight. Oh god. Found by the two big boys. Wraith King and Shadow Fiend collapse on him. We've nearly got Yules up for the SF. Wraith I'm King is you, 2k into his Radiance. When I was in NA, and I was like captaining some of these NA teams, like, my go-to hero was Beastmaster every game. NA teams, yeah, including SA teams, have no idea how to play against this hero. You just play it, you just take towers, and you just win games in like 10 minutes. He's a driving force. He's an engine. Yep. 
The only team who could beat it was like EG pretty much. But EG beat everybody, every NA and SA team back in the day. Ah, uh, Witch Doctor. He tries the two-man cask and Maledict. Too oh, many got summons a around Necromook though. Already? He sure does. And Valky with the arena. The bit of save from this Oracle actually keeping King Ao alive longer than they expected. Comes in. Oh, Adriano. Good arena. He fake pumps the good old Requiem there. Mm -hmm. Go for the Earth Spirit actually, instead. He's duked himself around the Bramble Maze. Is he going to die? The raise is coming. The spear back okay. saves his life. Very tanky hero, the Earth Spirit, as a position for here. So he, he, he's good. And I think Mars is one of the better heroes against uh, Beastmaster throughout the game, though. Because he can actually kill the Necronomicons with his uh, rebuke as long as he has decent amount of farm. And in the like when you arena the Beastmaster and the enemy team can't like come in to help him, he's just dead. He can't get out of the arena, so... At least it was a solid pick. Yeah, he's doing some good work. Yeah, they actually picked the Wish Doctor as well, like preemptively trying to counter this beast, but it didn't really matter. <laughs> they lost the lane, they lost the tower anyway. Oh, Witch Doctor. Oh, I guess the D Ward. Maledict onto that Dark Willow with a Death Ward as well, but the Shadow Realm oh, gets around. Sad Death Ward. Can't Very touch. Sad. That Dark Willow with a roll though. Moonlight gets the silence, kick back, and they've taken her out. He this must time, to kill, at least. There was no Beastmaster nearby with his Necro 2. <laughs> Alright. Whoa. They, they know they gave some kills on Latin defenders. They're stopping uh, some of SG's uh, movements here. But, but Gary, yeah. there's always the big but, buddy. <laughs> Who, what's the big but? Weaver is not five and zero. <laughs> no, there's another. There's a bigger but than that one. Does Wraith King have a big butt? Yeah, he does. You know he's got the biggest butt. He's, he's got three and a half thousand gold worth of big butt. Look at him. Nearly got the relic 11 minutes in. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. He's been completely free farming. Zero. Zero pressure on him. He can do whatever farming pattern his heart I mean, desires because his team is just attack. constantly running at Latin defenders and they need to bring five heroes to defend. And they keep having to play into that top lane. Beast Bastard, like the king of the dead lane, just keeps shoving it out, farming yep. the two jungle camps nearby. And without really any uh, any commitment, he just sends summons. So they smoke up into okay. his lane. Mars and Earth Spirit eyeing oh, that's up a huge King kill. RD, huge it kill. is. Very important for them, and they'll, they'll spend everything they can. Laguna Blade's probably oh, going to come out and kill him as well. Sad, though. So sad. Uh, it was a huge kill if they got the Beastmaster and the Necrobooks, because that's like 300 gold and XP. Like a bunch of XP you're getting as well. But oh, did they time out? They expired. Yeah, 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 exactly. They expired the moment the arena dropped. Nonetheless, still, pretty big kill. Uh, they had to use a smoke for it, though. And now, no arena, no magnetize. They could get a deny on this tier 1 mid. For now, they'll hold on and defend it with the four heroes in front. Bodyguarding against the SG side. Wraith King, yeah. He just pushes bot lane, goes back, farms two or three jungle camps, puts the skeletons out to farm the rest, back into bot lane, and now he's about a grand away from that full radiance. Yep, and that's when the real game starts, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> when when Wraith King has radiance. Well, it's like Beast really Master, Dota Beastmaster's that. your engine, Wraith King's the wheels, you're putting together a nice, uh, a nice car here, automobile, automobile, getting ready to roll on, into the Witch Doctor, Yules, into a couple of razors, Arcane Rune for Adriana makes it simple, could have had a courier there if they really wanted it, or if they'd seen it, but the bottom lane tower, pressured with a big terrorize though, they turn around on the Mars on the Weaver, and Valky just shredded with the magic damage being pumped out by KJ, the final raise from the Shadow Fiend takes it, as King Ao is sniped out up top lane. That's another good kill on the beast. Again. I mean, they're predicting where he's going to go and keep killing him. I hope King RD actually uh, realizes that they're hunting him nonstop and stops going up there now and tries to play with his team. Go mid, take that tower. They do have the Radiance, so they should be able to do that once he's alive. And you're talking about their nice, you know, car. It's more like a 18-wheel truck that's about to run at them, Gary. Oh, yeah? Yep. <laughs> Nice big trailer, full of Radiance burn. <laughs> this is gonna be insane, just wait, just, this game is about to explode big time the moment the Wraith King groups up. So what are we looking at? 14 minutes in, they'll have the tier 1 mid gone, they'll take control of the top Dire jungle, play into that Radiant Observer they've got, take the Dire triangle, bot tier 1 should be easy, systematic Dota nah. 2 from SG. 
Now we're going to face nah. up against the Mars Arena. This Lena with this Laguna Blade level two. Now there's some tools for Latam de defenders here to, de to actually defend their towers. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You you skipped a step there. You almost had it. You had it with the first tier one tower take uh -huh. going into the left jungle farm in that area. What they had to do is get another kill and go into Roshan first, oh. and then you go for the other towers. If they don't give you a kill, then you just push top in and go for the tier two tower there. Because those map is very easy for SG to um, dominate and uh, have good team fights around. And playing into your vision always feels good. Mm -hmm. Not and like the amount of sentries that have been spent here. Awesome. Yeah. Dyer are struggling to keep tabs on the vision that SG are putting out. That's a lot of gold they spent on sentries too. Because it's, it's not just observers; it's these hawks. A like king yes. hour is sending hawks left and right. And the other problem is the Necronomicons, whenever they go into the jungle, they're killing these sentries off as well. And that's so annoying <laughs> as a position for I don't know if you've ever played some poor Gary, Look at him. but it's very sad when your sentries get dewarded by a Necronomicon. Oh, careful. King Al goes high ground, trying to get on top of the Lena, but Moonlight, he's put his body in harm's way. As Valky slain by KJ, they take down Moonlight's Earth Spirit, and the Lena's walk back into it. Three kills in succession as Kostabiel also removes Aretis Witch Doctor. Four in a row. Is it I mean, one of the uh, uh, I guess, I guess so. Oh, no. It looks like Kostabile, he has some plans to farm some stacks first instead. Greedy Kostabile. Oh, how kind of the dire team to have stacked their ancient cap for. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, very kind. I, I think they could have just gone Roshan. They're just so strong. Oh, his Necrobook was running out. Okay. Had like five seconds left. It's gone now. Uh, yeah, I guess this is the most like gold and XP efficient way of doing things. Like you spread the map super thin. Shadowfiend's back in your triangle. Everyone else is farming out on lanes. I I guess Gary, you were right. I was left. I, I think both options were viable. Instead. But I think you, I think you could have been right if they got one or two kills, then they go into Roshan, like you said. Yeah. But if they get four kills, then they go with my plan. <laughs> Valky in the mid lane. Mars. Oh, it's just one more purifying flames would have had him. But he's bottled up enough and healing through. Lena sprinting forward. No Yules on her. Going straight into Lincoln's after the boots of travel. So they can't actually catch with this Lena right now. They need the roll to land, but it misses. And Costa Beale in the back has slain the Witch Doctor. Earth Spirit rolls into the Oracle as the Laguna Blades chucked onto King Owl. But he's been healed up, saved by the False Promise. And now Mars trapped on the low ground in the river. Down he goes, sinking into the deep blue abyss. It feels like there is not much left for the Latam defenders to do. They've thrown bodies at SG. They're trying to build into these Lincoln spheres. But the strength of this Brazilian squad is just a, a real wonder. Beastmaster Gaming. Beastmaster Gaming. I mean, if this Beastmaster was any other hero, I, I wouldn't have been so confident in their yeah. draft, but because of how this heroes combine together and they work, I'm like, oh, this is a piece of cake game for SG. No doubt about that. Latin defenders definitely didn't realize and pinpoint the real problem in game one's draft, and that's why they're being punished in this game number two. Maybe they were talking too much about things that didn't really matter. Happens a lot in, in uh, team comms after games when you lose. Like getting caught up in like minute details instead of yep. overall yep. overall game plan. Yeah. Exactly. Now, sometimes you talk about like one small fight that happened at the end of the game or, or like something that happened in your laning stage, but you got to look at the big picture, Gary. That's what always matters. And what could we have done overall? Ooh, Dragon Scale, neutral item. He's ditched there, there by the Wraith King. Get He's trying to there. get back up because that Dragon Scale is his. He wants it back. It doesn't look like Latham <laughs> Defenders noticed it was dropped. It's just going to sit there. No one's taking it. Skelly yeah, Boy's the... there. Trying to get it onto the Mars. Shadow Fiend's coming with a Yule Scepter, but Lena too speedy. He's so slow on SF right now. Just Yules into BKB build. But yeah, the Oracle is behind the Wraith King. I mean, this Wraith King should just man up. As soon as he saw those three heroes, he'll... Just throw that Wraith Fire Blast, smack him in the head. You know, you got the cover of your Oracle, you got a second life. Bait the fight out for your team. Use your body. 
Because <laughs> you, you still have that tier one tower oh, in the mid lane standing. Oh, no, Oracle. Skelly. Oh Ooh. my god, that Skelly got him. Look at those X pings. You know the X pings <laughs> are the toxic ones, right? Yeah, like what the hell is your Skelly boy <laughs> doing over here? Arena onto Adriano, but he's got BKB and the right clicks towards the Witch Doctor. Final touch will secure it, and then comes the roar. Onto Mars, Valky down, double kill for Adriano Shadowfiend. And they only lose the Oracle. Yeah, just clicking the BKB, getting out of the arena so you can kill the Witch Doctor. Mm -hmm. And they just keep going on with their lead, man. At this point, you can't really end the game 90 minutes in, but what you can do is get to your items that let you end the game. And they're just going to keep farming off the map and looking for the kills. Latin defenders, I think their play right now would be to just try to smoke up and play to the top side of the map. Like, don't give SG the chance to do Roshan. And if they do do Roshan, try to contest them because that's the only way they can really come back here. We were still extremely under farmed, I think, for the pace of the game. And, uh, One and two, how that's it. Yeah, how, how important are these Lincoln spheres? I mean, it's good against Roar, and uh, pretty much the disables that's gonna kill him can be, you know, popped by the Lincolns, right? Um, but I think he, he, this is like bad timing for Lincolns. Mm. They're just too strong on SG. They can just pop the Lincolns through anything and just still kill him with other stuff. This is what I meant by um, having this Weaver pop off early, constantly being in front of your opponent's uh, face and killing them so that they don't get these timings and you 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 keep farming their heroes. All that Lincoln's on we on uh, Lena is going to be delayed. It loses Wait, the courier with on. the recipe on it. Lena has Lincoln's at pants. That's that's what I'm saying. Like travels into the into Lincoln's, it feels like a bit of a bit of an odd build up. There's no Yules, there's no catch. Lincoln's mm -hmm. then blink daggers queued. Down bottom, cast thrown out. They've already lost Moonlight. And Witch Doctor gonna be the second kill down in that bottom lane there for SG. Give it to the Shadow Fiend, continue his wicked sick streak. He's going for the Scythe of Voice next. Come on, man. Oh, Oracle. Laguna Oracle's Blade. Here. Oracle's Coast here. Heal, just brother. crits the Lena down. False promise. And Coast of Bill's fine. <laughs> Valky is just done. <laughs> He's, he's, he's still got reincarnation, you know? <laughs> the fact that he's got false promise, reincarnation ready, has the reveal onto the Invis Weaver with the Yule's Requiem. They say good night. I think at this point, as Latam defenders, you're crushed. Four. You're defeated. Three. You don't want to play anymore. Two. And this game feels kind of over. One. So you should just call GG. Oh, no. They're not. Pretty sure right. Of course they're not. They got. <laughs> you know, it would have been the most beautiful setup. You know, you got to set yourself up somehow. Yeah. You know what they say, right? Even you miss all the shots you don't take. Yeah, or um, even a broken clock hits the right time twice a day, right? Oh, true, like true. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we tried. It didn't happen this time, but you know, we'll get them next time, Gary. Yeah, front page Reddit, we'll see you soon. <laughs> One, once it'll happen, we'll try it every single game for the next three weeks. <laughs> Our Latin Defenders got uh, one more, okay? They got one more smoke. They, one this is it. bullet this is left it. in the chamber. They're like, all right, this is all or nothing. Is, it's one bullet to kill five people. <laughs> 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 yeah, just uh, take that episode from the office and say, uh, as Dwight very, uh, very succinctly put it, just line them all up. Just put them all in a row. Get them inside that arena. One bullet will do the trick. Wanted style. Bend it around the room. Dude, they've, dude, they've smoked way past them. They're like, all right, give <laughs> like, I'm, I'm looking at the die heroes. I'm like, what are they? <laughs> They're just pushing lanes now. They're probably going to lose they, one or two up. heroes here. Now, it's like one of those smokes where like it hits right away or it's completely useless. So, mm -hmm. um, It was completely useless in the end. Man. They just didn't have it. It was one of those Hail Mary smokes. Oh my god, the Shadowfin really just can't see him. Oh, nice I, fog play. I like that. I like that. He's invisible. They get the Earth Spirit, oh, they though. Moonlight. How do they see uh, him? A, a Dark All Willow right. just blinks into the trees. <laughs> spots out the Earth Spirit. It's like, like they gotta be somewhere, right? They're like, they gotta nice be little, somewhere on this map. Nice little picnic back there. And they get Roshan off the back of it, immediately teeping down bottom. Contend with that bot lane shove. The Weaver's managed to get going for himself. But Adriano, Yule's cooldown for five seconds. He's gonna blink for this. Cock a hook, where you going, buddy? He knows exactly where you are. Yules, no, wait, wait. oh. 
Okay. I thought I thought we'd give that a crack. Yule's Blink and Requiem. All ready there for him. Hmm. Just allowing the Weaver to skitter away. You know, ah, Lincoln better. Sphere. Thank you, Bowie. I'm a dumb dumb. Yeah, he has finished the Lincolns. That's why. Yep. Dyer's Bowie smarter than Gary. Thank you, Bowie. What would we do without you, buddy? Flounder. Be confused. Boomer brain not working so good. I was going to ask you whether he had Lincolns or not, because I'm actually watching the feed. Because it's actually oh, yeah, so true. nice watching the feed, you know? <laughs> but, uh, yeah, like, <laughs> and then I'm like, I'm, I'm sure Gary saw the Lincolns pop. Nah. It's like, I'm sure, you know, I... I just didn't think he had it yet. I overestimated you, buddy. What? He didn't have it yet? 24 minutes? First item Lincolns is that a bad? Is, is, is that a pretty bad game? Well, he's been split pushing quite a lot, you know, farming. Shh, stop talking about it. <laughs> <laughs> Mars, uh-oh. There it is. He just Yule's Requiem. Yikes. Does have buyback. That was uh, Chasing Witch Doctor. Zero to 100. Yeah, and meanwhile, bottom racks. Which Guys, bottom racks? Latin doesn't defenders. exist anymore. You got That's an optimistic defend. TP, Lena. Oh my god. Straight into it with a Red Fire Blast oh. and the Fortune's End. They've already popped the Lincolns and King Owl's going to spend the roar on her as well. Inside the arena, they don't really care. Still pumping damage through that Colosseum wall. And Cockerhook going to have the Shikuchi back to Fountain. Where's he going? He's, he's hunting. He's running. Can't decide what he wants to get up to. Stunned up now with a Red Fire Blast. KG coming forward with the Fortune's End and the Purifying Flames. No more reveal back there, though. As they will finish off that bottom lane of Barracks. GG is called. Yeah, last time defenders, they know. Their time is up. <laughs> SG I with a 2-0 victory and a real simple one at that. Yeah, I mean, SG, they just outdrafted the hell out of lot of defenders. Uh, not only in like, not in, not, not in the way that it's just draft only, but in the way of understanding what Latin defenders can play against and what they have no idea what to play against, right? And utilizing that knowledge and just destroying them. They speed ran through these games i mean some people thought that latin defenders were going to be the ones who beat sg but you know sg they got their secret weapon out today yeah and it's a pretty good sign from sg you know they win their first series they looked pretty rough up against thunder predator last